Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve the lead code question number 204, count primes. Given an integer n, return the number of prime numbers that are strictly less than n. The prime numbers which are less than 10 are 2, 3, 5 and 7. So the output should be 4. In the second example, n is 0. So the output should be 0. In the third example, n is 1, so there are no prime numbers less than 1, so the output should be 0. I hope the question is clear. Now let's get into the implementation. A number is a prime number if it is divisible by 1 and by itself. In this diagram, the numbers marked in blue are prime numbers. For example, 5 is divisible by 5 and by 1, so 5 is a prime number. Whereas 6 is not a prime number because it is divisible by 1, 2, 3 and 6. We are going to solve this problem using C of Eratosthenes algorithm. In this example, we are going to take the number as 20. Initially, we are declaring a list of size 20 and we are assuming all the numbers are prime. So, we are marking true for all the numbers. In the next step, we know that 0 and 1 are not prime. So, for the index position 0 and 1, we are changing it to false. Now, from the index position 2, if the value is true, we are considering 2 as prime and we are marking all the multiples of 2 as not prime. Now, we are moving to the next element which is 3 and we are checking if the value is true. So, 3 is a prime number. Now, we are changing all the multiples of 3 as not prime. So, in this case, 6, 9, 12, 15 and 18 are not prime. Now, we are moving to the next element which is 4 and we, are, we see that the value is already marked as false. The next, now, the next element which has true is 5. We see that multiples of 5 which is 10, 15 are already marked as false. So, we are stopping the iteration at 4. In this example, the square root of 4 is 16 which is less than 20. Whereas, for the next element 5, the square root of 5 is 25 which is greater than our number 20. So, we can stop the iteration at 4 which has the square root less than 20. I hope the approach is clear. Now, let us get into the implementation. First, we are going to declare the array and mark all the values as true. Array equals to a list of value true of size n. If the number is 0 or 1, we can immediately return n. If n equals to 0 or n equals to 1, we can return 0. If not, we can mark the array of index 0 and 1 as false. Array of 0, comma, array of 1 equals to false. Now, we are iterating from the index position 2 to the number which has the square root of n. Let us do that. For i in range of second index to integer of number square root of 0 0.5. We are going to iterate till this last element. So, I am going to add plus 1. If array of i is true, we are going to change all the multiples of that number to false. Let us do that. For j in range of i plus i 
and we are incrementing every i and we are marking array of j equals to false. Now we are returning the sum of array. Return sum of array. Let's submit it. The solution got accepted. I hope you like this approach. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.